Hello friend, this is Alok. Welcome to my 50th video. In this video, we will learn how to configure LTM box, local traffic manager. Okay. And this will be active and standby configuration. First, we are going to start in F5, like uh, we are going to deploy F5 load balancer in this lab. Uh, we have already covered checkpoint and Cisco ASA configuration in this lab. So, from today itself, I'll start F5 configuration from basic itself. I mean, a basic setup I'm going to do. I'll configure active and standby box, and then I'll uh, configure whip and all on this box, and we'll see traffic and all. So, uh, in this lab, if you see here, I have added the domain controller, domain controller, DNS server, and web server uh, in our lab. So, we will uh, learn how to configure this thing also but uh, in this lab we are going to consider on f5 load balancer uh, local traffic manager so external ip uh, for this uh, f5 box will be 172.17.0.5 lab will be same and ip will be same as we were doing in last uh, lab so this will be our management ip and uh, ha we are using 10.10.10 .10 series ip address over here so our uh, this virtual i mean uh, this is our internal uh, physical ip address self ip address uh, we called interface ip is called physical ip is called uh, self ip address so we will assign self ip address for both interfaces internal and external and then we will set up uh, floating ip that is called virtual ip for internal user i'll uh, explain everything but uh, Let's start with this configuration F5 box. So I would suggest you to uh, register yourself on F5. Okay, and this uh, get the trial version of license. Uh, you will get three license from there. And you can download IUSO uh, file from there itself. And this is the latest version 13.1.2. So we are using this uh, latest TMSH version. This is operating system for this F5 box. So we are uh, using the test version. So you can go to uh, F5 uh, URL and you can download ISO from there itself. And you will get uh, three license for 90 days. So this would be the enough like you can do more lab on this. So I have downloaded and I have started this box, two boxes. Uh, this uh, will become a primary. This will be like secondary. I'll start from scratch. So this is a uh, when you purchase your box, you will start this box. It will boot and this it will come and give a prompt like login. So you have to give root as a username and password will be default. So let me log in here using uh, root as a username and password will be default. So we are having two box here. So you can see like uh, this is big IP 13.1.0.2 iOS version we are using. This is called TFSH. Okay, I need to log in here as well. So we logged in already. So first of all, we need to assign IP address for this uh, uh, I mean management IP address for this F5 box. So if you see here, there is a no license for this box. So first we will do licensing. So the, just uh, register yourself on F5 uh, URL and just get three free trial license that is called base registration key. And you'll get registration key and then you'll activate. Uh, let me show you how to activate this. So first of all, we need to configure management IP over here. So for management IP configuration, just uh, open utility, configuration utility using config command. It takes time. So here you see like this is the F5 management port setup. And uh, this is, uh, this is a, uh, configuration utility just we need to configure management ip address over here so please click ok then it is uh, giving one ip address so if you want to use press yes either no so we will configure our ip as a like uh, 10 dot 
12.1.5 uh, for this box if you see here I have mentioned here this is this will be our management IP address if you see diagram here we are giving management IP 10.12.1.5 so first we need to assign this IP address to this management interface press ok then subnet mask will be same press ok and then default uh, if you want to configure default uh, root uh, then you can press uh, oh, yes or else you can press no okay then press ok enter so this is done we have a configured IP address for this box so now same way we need to do on secondary box same uh, command you need to run config this will open uh, configuration wizard f5 configuration wizard ip management wizard so pr press ok and uh, it is giving default ip like 192.168.37.137 so i don't need this ip i'll conf uh, i'll uh, change this ip address okay so press ok and then change the ip address here 10.12.1.6 as per our uh, diagram if you see we are going to give uh, 1.6 for secondary box here you can see 10.12.1.6 i am giving for this second f5 box okay then press ok then subnet mask will be same and then press no then press enter so we have assigned ip address for both boxes okay so we have done till now uh, using a cli now we to, we need to log in using gui so first we you need to see here uh, lan setting let me check what is the lan setting here this should be host only so select host only here so this is okay you need to check on primary box as well that setting should be like host only on vmware yes lan card is using host only so this is good okay so we need to have one cli client uh, gui client so that we need uh, to have one window machine in your uh, lab okay so we are using windows 7 as a client system uh, you can say it's a management system and it should be as a host only setting select right click setting and it should be host only so yes it is so it will take some time meanwhile we can check okay so here you can see there is a no license this is a standalone box so we need to configure active and a standby by default they are a standalone and then and then that that will be active box okay so start your uh, this client machine and connect to this uh, if you are having box physical box f5 box so uh, just connect this machine uh, uh, to this box okay um, either you, uh, you can have a buyer or you can add their switch and just uh, connect the system to that switch and just access and uh, give same same ip address like 10 dot series ip address 10 dot 12 dot 1 dot 0 series ip should be here on uh, this uh, management system just assign this ip address to this box and then you will uh, able to access this two primary secondary boxes from here itself from management system okay this we are using as a management system you can say so it is a starting now so our system is ready now check ip address here that should be in same range 10.12.1. series so i believe i have given this range here you can see like we have given 10.12.1.100 to this management box Ma management system you can say uh, from here we can take gui of these two boxes gui access we need to have 
for basic setup okay so our ip is 10 dot 5 uh, 10.12.1.5 uh, it is a primary box and secondary is using uh, 6 So six is our secondary box IP address. So we need to log in from here. By default, uh, if you are going to log in first time, say, so uh, username will be admin for GUI client, and admin is password. So hit and uh, login, and same way you need to log in in secondary box. username and password will be admin so if you see here there will be no uh, license because we have not activated box yet so we need to activate box first then you will see ltm feature and so many feature will be added once this box is activated so let it reload So once you log in with the admin user and the admin password, you will see like no license exists for this device. So first of all, we need to do licensing. So once you click on next, it will ask to activate this box. Okay. So setup utility is running. So if you press next, then it will ask to uh, get license. Okay. Activate this box. Okay. Click on activate. Same way we need to do on uh, secondary box. Press next. And just set up utility will uh, uh, run. So click click on next. So I would suggest you to, uh, if you are going to access this F5 box, I would suggest you to use uh, Mozilla or any other browser except this uh, IE because it is very slow okay so I have license base registration key with me so I got trial version for 90 days this base registration key if you have internet on your box uh, management box I mean man management system which is uh, accessing uh, this two box so paste this uh, base registration key here and if you see here automatic option is coming if you have internet on this box then it will directly go to f5 box and it will get activated but if you don't have internet i would suggest you to select this this is a way to activate your box select manual and just do next and you will get dossier file against this based uh, base registration key okay so once you press OK, uh, it will generate dossier file with this device. Same way you need to do here. Uh, it will ask for base registration key. I mean, if you have, then just paste it there. License. So this is, I, I have with this two license. Trial license I am using here for 90 days. In setup utility, you need to paste, paste your base registration key here. Okay. And then select manual. So I believe I have uh, copied wrong one. I need to copy this one. Mm, I need to check because uh, what I did. Because we, we are having two license key. So it will take one minute here to generate this dossier file.
so here it is asking to continue just continue here so you can see dossier file here so we have used this base registration key okay this is used we need to use this one for secondary box just copy go to this box and paste valid base registration key here select manual do next same way it will generate uh, dossier file here so what next uh, let's suppose you are having internet on uh, your uh, any devices go there where internet is running okay so here you need to copy this activate um, you need to access if you have internet then uh, access https colon uh, this forward slash and then activate dot f5 dot com slash license so this url uh, you need to access So copy this dossier file from a five box. This is dossier file. You can either download from here this dossier file and upload uh, to this F5 URL. Paste it here or you can upload browse and upload here. Okay. So I would suggest you to copy this dossier file. Control A, Control C and just uh, go to f5 uh, url paste this dossier file press next so it will ask for agreement so you need to select agreement then go next then it will generate certificate against of your uh, dossier file and this is a very easy way to uh, activate your box so this is a certificate uh, you can say license this is a license for your uh, LTM box either you can download from here or you can uh, control a, a and copy this file and go to F5 box again and paste it here this is your license okay against this dossier file press next same way you have to do for uh, this secondary box So it takes time when you click next. Okay. Then this will be activated. Okay. Meanwhile, we will do for this secondary device. We will generate certificate for this. So here is no license so we pasted there I think I again we need to paste that uh, base registration key copy this base registration key here and paste it here select manual because we are doing manually uh, activation activation of this device so we pasted this dossier file and uh, sorry register base registration key against this uh, dossier file this device will, will generate dossier and 
just copy this dossier and go to a five uh, URL and then you need to paste your dossier file there and generate your certificate okay so we have done for primary we are now going to do for secondary box activation this is a dossier file for secondary box so same way you do next and you will get uh, you have to sign the agreement here select and then it will generate license against of your device okay so simply copy that certificate from here control a control c go to your box paste it that license here and press next okay it takes time so once you do uh, this one i mean once your box is activated it will go for resource provisioning where you can see like what license you have okay so you will get this option so we are having ltm nominal so it will give it three options here so dedicated nominal and maximum max uh, this is dedicated if you are using only and only ltm box okay and this is a, a nominal is a use in a very uh, you can say it's a in testing environment dedicated where uh, it is for only for atm uh, ltm used and maximum we are uh, we can see everywhere so basically we set up that one so we are having nominal license for this okay so just press next so here you can see what license you have so press next same way you have to do here so uh, once you get this page so once you press ok then it will show you device license the device certificate sorry so you need to press that next and then you will see i think one by one we need to do because we are already using this ram will be utilized 100 percent almost so you'll see device certificate now and then in platform we need to reset your password what we have in default okay and then next will be our network setup then redundancy we uh, vlan and all but i am not going to do from here we will do one by one so that you can easily understand how to set up this box okay this is very basic i am starting from basic like once you get this box how to activate and then you go for active standby configuration and then you can go for whatever configuration it is like web configuration url configuration ssl offloading taking backup troubleshoot so many options will be there we'll see one by one so next option is saying what license i have I mean certificate I have this is self assigned certificate you can say and this uh, I mean this uh, F5 box has generated uh, own uh, certificate SSL certificate this is self assigned certificate you can see here so we need not to do anything here you can if you want to uh, renew from uh, here then you can but now I'll see all option uh, once we configure this box we will offload a certificate then i'll show you that what would be the uh, option for offloading certificate i mean one is self-assigned one is interest i'll show you how to do okay so not uh, i mean you need not to do anything here just go for next then it will go to platform and here you need to give device name so see here you need to uh, you have to take care of this part and just copy this and do it carefully here because once you are doing mistake then you will get a problem configuring this activate and standby box because you need to select time zone here correct time zone should be on both both boxes 
so select time zone first we are in asia so go asia specific and kolkata you need to select here so our time zone is kolkata so here you can set admin username and password this is like we are renaming root this is root means cli password okay so cli password you need to set then you need to set gui password for console f5 console so i am going to set this and i'll press okay next since you have updated password okay no problem it will go log off because we have changed this password so it will go log off then we need to log in with the new username sorry new password not username so we'll see here so we are in secondary box so we need to do same thing here so this box is activated if you go to pro command prompt you will see like this box is activated but in uh, this box is active if you see here active means this box is activated and this is a standalone earlier it was showing showing like no license now we have license this is an active box okay here also if you see we have done activation so here you see like uh, this is the active box so this is activated both boxes activated here you see some licenses self assigned sorry self signed certificate for this device which is generated by uh, this device uh, device itself so here we go we give a device name this device is 02 i'm giving like a name like this and then i'll select time zone so time zone should be as per your country i am in india so i am going to select asia kolkata this one yeah. and then i am going to reset password for cli and then for G gui and then press okay then it will ask to like it will give warning like you will be logged out and then you need to log in with a new username and password so our new password is whatever we have given there and then you have to do same thing here you have to log in again it will go log off once it is done take some time it is loading now once is it is loaded then it will go log off and then you need to log in with the new username and password sorry new username is not required new user will be like admin uh, once we integrate with sso server or uh, integrate with active directory then we need to have a active direct username and password so yeah so but here is the final step you can go for next and then you can configure redundancy vlan ntp dns and config sys and all failover monitoring and so many things from here but i am not going to do i'll do one by one okay uh, just go for finish and do manual configuration so that you can easily understand what to do in uh, configuring this active and standby box okay so same way you have to go here uh, still it is taking time okay once you finish here you will get more option it will show like completed here completed successfully i mean see setup utility completed okay then either you refresh this page then you'll get so many option like ltm option here okay 
so I'm going to refresh this page because this this is done basic configuration is done here so for secondary box also it will go log off once it is done it is taking more time so we can we have to wait so let it be so here you see like this is a standalone online active and we have given this name f5-01 slash target 20.com so this is device name so here you need to log in this is secondary box where we need to log in with new uh, password it will take more time so go here still loading or oh, just refresh again We are almost done with this configuration basic setup and from next lab we will do active standby configuration okay so here in secondary box you need to finish finish it off it will show like setup utility completed so basic setup is done in this lab so if you think like it is a relevant video so go for if you like like you are thinking like it is relevant to you then go and subscribe this video uh, so that you can get latest video here latest video update you can like this page if you want so here you can see once you finished you will see so many option here okay so see here we can create virtual server i'll show you all option like what we do with this okay so we have no any virtual server now okay so we'll do all thing i'll let you know like what to configure how to configure so this is basic thing we have done here so basic i mean if you see setup utility completed so we have done basic setup here So same option you will get here same like ltm ssl this option you will get easily here once it is done in secondary box and then we will start from here itself and we will start configuring active standby box in next lab this is 50th lab <sighs> I'll create separate video from 50th to 65. This will be for LTM box only. I'll explain each and every feature of LTM box. How to troubleshoot and all. So this, this is done. Okay. So this box will also come. It will take time. See, this option is coming now. So from here itself we will start second video thank you for watching this video if you think like it is relevant to you then then go and subscribe and like thank you so much if you have any query you can make comment in comment section thank you for watching this video